fail to finish and give in to the pressure of deadlines. We had just put in our ingredients, like I think, three, four minutes before the time was up. So we knew that the food was not going to cook anyway. But we didn't want to give up and just say, no, it's not going to happen, so let's just stop anyway. No. At least try whatever we can do. That's more important. Trigun now had to see if each of them matched up to his expectations. So you guys, this uh, you should see a good idea. He's used this uh, cover of the tent as a doormat. If I gave them some small little different tasks with which I could assess if they are up to it or not. Out of which I found that most of them were not very aware of what the surroundings and how to go about things and which we taught them later on. Avan, Gauri. What's up? <laughs> we had a tough time with both the things. Uh, we were both new to the stove as well as the tent. Right in the last five minutes, we could manage the stove, uh, but that was just about enough. So. Fire is something that uh, everyone should be very careful about. Trigun explains why fire should be lit away from the tents on dry land if possible. And also look around for the closest water source and mud to put out the fire just in case. Now uh, one uh, small job to the end. I want everything, the tents, everything packed like the way I gave it to you, except for the food. And I give you 15 minutes. Your time starts now. Have a good time. The wrapping up process begins. Always ensure the fire is extinguished completely to avoid any wildfire. Oh, that's good. Any non-biodegradable item has to be disposed of carefully. No matter what you unpack, it has to be packed up when it is time to go. Whatever I've learned today is really helpful, not only for this road trip, but this will be helpful in general. So what I've got now, I plan to keep it with me. Hi, my name is Christopher De Silva. I'm 26 years of age. As a professional, I work for IntelliNet Global Services in HR. Prior to this, I was in an army college. My main intention of joining the army school was to get into the Indian Army. Offering means to me adventure, risk. It means excitement. First thing when I got the call from National Geographic, I did not believe it. I just want to make it to the end because I really want to see Siachen. What we're going to practice today is actually convoy driving. Remember, stay one to after each other and keep all the time knowing that if you make any turn, you need to check for the car behind you. When convoy you driving is simply a group of cars driving in a discipline. ITZIC teaches the, the off-roaders the importance the and disciplines involved. Okay, this is what we're going to do today. Let's go. As part of the training, I'd ask Idzik to put them into a situation where they are going to experience some very, very bad rocky roads, where uh, chances of damaging their car was uh, very high. The program of driving skills will give the off-roaders a hang of how difficult and unpredictable hill driving can be. When you're going to see now, what yeah. you're going to see, remember that you need to put your wheels in some place. Okay. okay. In case of absence of a co-driver, the driver should assess the road to get to know the obstacle and to make his own judgment of the road to take. Try and judge the way you want to drive and then go over it. Vikram has uh, put in a certain route that he wants to go on and if you look back there, there are these two rocks. Uh, so there's this rock number one and then there's a rock number two. What he instead intends to do is get his left wheel on the uh, left side of this rock and his right wheel on the left side of this rock. Go, 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 go. If you can't judge something from the car, if you've got a co-driver or a navigator, then you can get that person out of the car and he can kind of tell you which way to go. like this, uh, bad roads uh, and you cannot handle it and they don't know where to put the car on that track, 
uh, could be the end of the road for the car. I am Bikramjeet Singh Sandhu. I'm 34 years old and I'm a marine surveyor. Movies, gymming, meeting up with friends in the evening at times, that's like a regular routine for me. When I did get the call, I was, I was very excited. You know, it's a, it's a once in a lifetime uh, experience. What I'm really looking forward in this trip is a lot of adventure. If he wins and he goes there, it'll be one of his biggest achievements. Well, I don't want to let my family and friends down and uh, I'm going to give my 100%. If I do get to the final and I do reach Siachen, I'm going to thank God for it. Idzik has cleared the off-roaders in his program. It's time now to train them on driving in a convoy at night. After you study where to put your wheels, it's uh, very important to keep the momentum of the car. Personally, I think Idzik is the sort of uh, a guy who sticks to his facts as opposed to a lot of opinions. Because opinions are subjective and, uh, and facts are objective. While driving in a convoy at night, it is important to understand each other's signals. Always signal early and relentlessly. Left. Left. No, no, no. Go back. Oh, left. Like a turn. My left from... Sorry. <laughs> I thought from the left side of the road. My English is not good, but left, it's left. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're basically today learning to uh, how to drive in a convoy, how to not make a ride bumpy and to be ready for surprises on the road. Ah. That is our learning for today. I need you to check the car. Training is done. The off-roaders are now aware of most pre-off-roading requisites. And it is time for them to roll those wheels on the roads. We are coming to the end of our training program. I am going to see how you guys are going to be driving in a convoy. And yes, one quick check of the vehicle and you are all set to hit the road again. I think we have the, the sort of basic training that we needed to get our uh, hands on the car. And I think we're good to go. We had to maintain a slow distance to avoid uh, building up too much speed and having to brake suddenly. When you're driving in a group of more than two vehicles, keep your headlights on. When you have headlights on, you're much more noticeable. They go very well. Maybe it's because the first drive, but it was very conscious, very easy, not taking risk at all, so it was very good. So guys, good show. That was our good convoy drive. Before we start off, um, just another tip on how to repair a tire. I mean, we have a flat tire. I'd like Itzik to show you that. 
A flat tire might look like an ordinary issue, but can actually be a big hurdle in an expedition. Idzik teaches the off-roaders how to change a flat tire this is it. and check air pressure to avoid any probable waste of time. You start filling up the tire until you got to 32 psi. This is the pressure that you're going to drive. So this is how you're using the compressor. So hopefully we don't have any flat tires and we don't need to use that. Okay, I have a road book here in my hand. Uh, if you see. Hari Singh shares a last minute checklist with the off-roaders and hands a tulip or a guide of road signals that the off-roaders need to follow to reach the destination. This is a make or break drive before they become the actual off-roaders. So you guys have learned a lot. Tulip says from point A to point B, Itzik will be waiting out there for you. The destination here is Itzik and the off-roaders have to reach him using the road signs in this tulip. So you guys all set? Yes sir. Yes, sir. Take it easy, have a safe drive. This is point A and you have to reach point B to Mr. Itzik. I'm also going to uh, put Trigun in with you since, uh, you know, it's you're an all-girls team. So he keep an eye on you. <laughs> all the best. We've designed a tulip which they have to follow. So if they stick to that tulip, they will reach Itzik, who's halfway point where we have some other activities for them. Now this is the drain that's cutting across and says a big dip. So now this is where we have to be careful. Come. Slowly. Ah. Slowly. Ah. He drove pretty fast. Whether it was flat, we gunned it and did a great job with the fast driving. The experts are happy with their progression. Yet Idzik has a surprise plan to check their preparedness as they start the expedition the next day. After this building, there is a two fruit tree. You have five minutes to find these fruits. If you don't uh, find them, come back. The off-roaders have no idea that Itzik has played this prank on them to check truly how alert and prepared they are for this expedition. Hope they find the fruit that will perhaps give them the wisdom to find out what Itzik has been up to. Disconnect the battery. I pretty much guessed that there was going to be something wrong with the car when we got back. Uh, it was a Peru tree. tree. But it looks uh, like a guava tree, uh, but yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, guava no fruits on it. Okay, they're ready to uh, go. Okay. Okay. Five minutes. Five minutes to find what is missing in the car and what is wrong. You don't need to check the oil level again. I knew it. When she turned the ignition, when the lights are supposed to come on on the instrument panel, no lights came on. So that means the cars don't receive any power. So the battery, obviously, the terminal was not there. Great job. Excellent. The performance that they do in this the task was very good. I am uh, very pleased with it. to find those fruit now. I took the spare wheel out from the car. For Rishit and Aman, we done it a little bit nasty. We actually took two things from the car. One is misconnect the battery. The second one is uh, the jack for the uh, tire repairing. Did we finish five minutes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I figure out that you don't have any fruit. I need you to check the car, see that everything is okay. Five minutes to find it. Just check all the caps, I'll check, all, uh, check the jack and the step. The intention was to figure out if you can pick up on what is missing really quickly. Yeah. This is loose. Loose? Yeah. The battery terminal is loose. Battery terminal. Okay. 
I want to check that the jack and the thing Achha, is still in the car. <laughs> okay. Jack is here. The jack is just here between the grass, just in front of you. When we had that little job of checking up on the car, uh, we covered for each other, you know, in case one missed it out, the other got it, and that's what a team does. I mean, you can't always get everything right, but if your partner can cover for you, then you've got a good team going. Uh, we are missing a rim. Uh, we are missing the whole tire. I, I mean, this, this is the one. Okay, out, okay, you're right, guys. It's down there, on the bushes. Go and get it. Five minutes is all that our instructors had to make sure that the crucial part was missing, which is the spare tire, and which is a pretty, pretty crucial part uh, for any journey like this. Okay. Hi, my name is Avishkar. I am an outdoor educator by profession. I have been off-roading in the past. Off-roading to me is something that is a culmination or a combination of mountaineering, backpacking, everything that I've done. Putting it into a vehicle and making sure we get there safely, but really have a good time and have a blast getting to the destination. Well, once I go into this program, um, I know for sure that I want to reach Siachen because that is the carrot that is there dangling in front of me. That's something that I buy to uh, achieve or go, go to and actually get to Siachen and call myself a winner of the entire journey. She helped me a lot while driving. She was a very good navigator, actually. Okay, girls, check the car. It's, everything is okay, and you're actually ready for the driving. Okay, so let's check it. We are actually missing one thing in the car. What? That is uh, the two. Tool. I hid the toolkit uh, before when we uh, left the camp. Look for it. I have already looked for them because I was sitting there and they were there. <laughs> because I was sitting, I opened it up because I wanted the water boat. Actually, they found it on the car because they want to put their water, or whatever. So they found the tools. So it's been uh, easy for them. So guys, that was the end of your training program. Tomorrow onwards. We are on to an expedition to Siachen. Itzik, how do you feel? I feel great. They got a lot on those two days. I'm very confident on them. Trigun, do you think uh, they're going to survive the vagaries of mountains, desert, jungle? Yeah, they run well. Yeah. That's that's good to hear. That guys it makes me feel a lot better. Tomorrow we leave early morning. We've got a 950 kilometers journey all the way to Jaisalmer. It's a long drive. Get some good nights rest. And we'll see you at the break of dawn. Have a great trip, guys. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you. The experts have chosen the final eight off-roaders. After arduous two days under Taskmasters Idzik and Trigor, the convoy is ready to hit the road. A road in the shifting dunes of Jaisalmer, in the blistering sun and cold nights, and some really trying conditions. The eight off-roaders will sniff some sand next week as the Nissan X-Trail expedition has just begun.